Hey, what's going on guys? Daily challenges today. We have spoonbills, parasol mushrooms, hawks. I'm going to show you an area where you can get all three of these together if you're lucky. But I'm going to show you that I end up do finding all three in the same spot. Also going to be talking about hideouts, stealth kills. So this is going to be a longer video, so I apologize. In addition, you also have to complete a race. But most of these can be done in free roam, which is nice. Everybody usually likes that. Okay, first up is spoonbills. So at the location that I like to go to, I usually have about a 70 to 75% success rate the very first time. If not, I might have to circle around the area or leave and come back. When you're trying to find these, as well as the hawks, try to find them during the day. But this location here you just saw, I ended up killing three. It's my go-to spot to get spoonbills, but luckily there are other locations in this area where you can find some. So all along the Blue Water Marsh and in the bayou, you can find some. At those little pinpoints, those are just general areas where you can find them. Again, if you don't find them, you may have to go ahead and run around, leave the area, come back. Make sure you are looking during the daytime. And here are some more locations down south. So next up, we're going to talk about parasol mushrooms. As I said, you can find these in the same location as we're going to be getting spoonbills and where I found my hawk. But they are located in a lot of different spots along the map. Those are three spots in the northern Blue Water Marsh area where I was able to find them. And between those spots, you can find plenty. You can also find them in the Great Plains. And then if you happen to be over in the New Austin area, which we're going to talk about hawks a little bit later, you can also get parasol mushrooms at these two specific locations. But you can find them all throughout New Austin. Specifically, you know, as you go up to Gap Tooth Ridge North up near the train tracks. So next up are going to be hawks, and this might be the tougher one for you to find in the same area as the spoonbill and the parasol mushrooms. Now I'm going to be quiet. Make sure you listen for the hawks sound. Okay, you could distinct, uh, well, distinctively hear it, but it was kind of quiet. If you hear that high screeching noise in this area here, I'm going to bring up on the map. Make sure you're looking up. There is only one area where you can get hawks in this location. It's around the train tracks, but it could be flying in any direction from the water toward the west, from the bayou up north. But in this general area is where you're going to be able to find it. And this is where I found mine. Again, usually in the hill around the train tracks. Make sure you're listening for that tone. As soon as you do, look up and try to get it so you can get your hawk. Now, another great place is Twin Stacks, specifically this mountain that I was just at right there. You can find them frequently, but it does randomly switch between those three mountain ranges. So make sure you guys go over there if you can't find one. Check it out. Also, another great spot is Rathskiller Fork, specifically during the daytime, either flying around or perched on top of one of the fences. Now, here are some locations where you can go ahead and get your hideouts. There is about four in the Bayou Blue Water Marsh area. I know hideouts on challenge days can be pretty tough, but those were the other locations. Feel free to go ahead and go back and pause the screen so you can look at the locations. Here are some other spots on the western part of the map, specifically in New Austin. There are plenty of locations, so technically you could also get your hideouts, your mushrooms, and your hawks from New Austin. But again, that really depends on hideouts spawning for you or not. So next, if you need to go ahead and find some jewelry, you can get those from ambushes, hideouts, you know, just basically looting people. But here are some locations where you can always find some. At Little Creek Ranch, there is one there, or Hanging Dog Ranch. At this gang hideout in Cumberland Forest, there is another piece of jewelry. At Braithwaite Manor, if you go up the stairs, the room on the left, there is a piece of jewelry on the nightstand. And then also in the bayou, between these two locations, you can find three. So basically, the only thing we have left to talk about are the NPC stealth kills. You can use hideouts for this. The problem is you're only usually going to get one hideout. I mean, one stealth kill per hideout. You can use Thieves Landing. You can use Bow and Arrow, Throwing Weapons. You can sneak up behind them, kill them with a knife. Another great idea is to go into your menu, go to Story Missions, and start up where your morals lead you. There are five different locations in this mission here where there are going to be enemies, and you can get a stealth kill each time. Now, one tip I do recommend is if you have a friend, make sure you guys join a posse. Then one of you go ahead and start this up. Once you get to the main mission menu where it says to go ahead and start, you both start the mission at the same time so matchmaking doesn't start up for other players to join. You go through the mission, get your five kills, replay the mission so your friend gets five kills. Hope the video helped. Sorry it was long. See you guys next time.